Hey y'all, this your girl Ayo Quiche, and I'm back with some more tips, rules, and guidelines to help you navigate through this lovely city I like to call Jacksonville. And I know I skipped a week. Don't fight me, fight your mammy. But I'm here to tell y'all today what jobs not to work at if you're not from Jacksonville. And I ain't saying don't make your coin. I ain't saying don't work at these jobs. But what I am saying is take all the rules, tips, and guidelines that I've given you to these jobs. First up, any and every call center in the Duval County city limits. Listen, you prepare to work with a lady named Epa May who know everybody business and gonna tell they business. Gonna make you want to square up with her because she thinks she the supervisor and she ain't nothing more than a call center agent just like you. But she want to tell you when to do it, how to do it, where to do it, when to... Hey, listen, listen, Epa May. You making $17 an hour just like me. Mind the business that pays you. This for all your low-key, sophisticated strippers work who, who, who gonna work at cocktails by night and gonna, hey, how you doing? Thank you for calling AT&T. This is Keisha speaking. How may I help you during the day? I'm trying to tell you. Next up, your warehouses. Specifically, Amazon Coach and Football Fanatics. Listen, if you looking for a place where you can find you a sneaky link, this is the place where you need to work at it. Then been ran through that's working at these warehouses. Don't get me wrong, it's some nice little eye candies that be working up in there, but I'm trying to tell you, they tainted, they damaged good, they for the streets. Don't don't look for nothing long term. Just get you a sneaky leak and keep it moving. Get you some lunch every other day and keep it pushing. And this where all your people work at that's looking to work a couple of months out the year just so they can file for income taxes and claim them doggone kids. I'm trying to tell you, hmm, take a plan. Tap your neighbor and say, neighbor, is she telling the truth? Because I am. Because I am. Next up, your nursing homes. Listen, if these nursing homes in Duval County ain't some of the most ghetto places, it, uh, look, just go here, get your experience so you can move it on to the hospitals. Because listen, every CNA in a Duval County nursing home thinks she a nurse. And she gonna wear them scrubs and that badge proud flipped over so you can't see what her credentials are. If you don't sit your ass wiping ass down some doggone well and go answer that call like I know something. But I'm gonna call the state on you. Period. Next up, any fast food restaurant. Specifically McDonald's. I don't know what McDonald's got going on in Duval County, but it seemed like you gotta have a record of undefeated when it come to having them hands, and it seemed like you got to have the rudeness level at level 10. Listen, if you don't want to work in fast food where you got to do face-to-face -face customer service, do not work here. I didn't tell you to apply for that application. I didn't tell you to come in for that interview. And I didn't tell you to take the job. You ain't got to be rude. And you ain't got to have an attitude when I tell you I want me a McFlurry with my uh cookie crumbs at the bottom and at the top. Listen, if you got an attitude and you know how to fight, apply here. Last but certainly not least, living off of government assistance. Listen. Yes, people who claim they weeks every two weeks for unemployment really think they got a job and they being productive when all they doing is getting that free money. And hey, who am I to say anything to each of those claiming your weeks every two weeks for unemployment, recertified for your stamps and your Medicaid every six months while Ubering and DoorDash and on the side is not a real job. Listen, it's people out there that really think they out here getting it and, and riding around and they really not.